Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last Chucky movie I'll ever review in Halloween in January. I know there's a TV show, but I said it specifically. I'm going to review horror movies. And I know this is going to be a series that's going to go on for a long time because every single time there's like there's like 15 to 20 horror movies each year because horror movie is like the most easiest thing you could ever do. See, I'm gonna, so Halloween in January is going to be here to stay every January of every year. And after that, it's going to be Rebe- Rebellious Teen February, which I, where I review... Review movies that parents wouldn't be, that parents wouldn't want their kids watching that isn't horror movies. Anyways, let's go to my favorite Chucky movie of all time, The Cult of Chucky. And by, this is by far the most hilarious, tense, the most hilarious, tense, and probably, and probably the most amazing MCU-like Chucky movie I've ever seen. Now we follow, now we follow Chucky after he got killed by Andy in the post credit scene of the, of the, of the Curse of Chucky. Where where Chucky learns learns from from Voodoo for Voodoo for Dummies dot com, where he can make an incantation spell where he can split his soul into different into different uh, into different entities, and now that Nika's at the ho- at the mental hospital for for being afraid of killing her parents, even though we all know that it was Chucky, Chucky now has a new set has a new destination, the mental hospital. And before I go into the cons, which are I, don't, I only really have one minor con in the movie. Let's go to all the positive cons in the movie. The first one, it still has that, it still maintains that very, it still maintains that very uh, gothic aesthetic of, of of Curse of Chucky, which I really loved. Like I said, in my previous review that came out not so long ago. And they also kept Nika in this movie, which hooray, for, which hooray for people who like Nika. Also, another thing I really like about the movie, the movie is hysterical as hell. I love the scene where, where the three Chuckies are together and they're, and then they're all like, <clears throat> no, and then they're like, well, it's like, it's like, well, what did you learn how to do that spell? I learned it from Voodoo, I learned it from VoodooForDummies.com. I never felt so alive. Well, you've been alive for two minutes. <laughs> oh, and I think my personal favorite one is the one that, no, I get to kill any, no, I get to kill any. Hello, did you remember what he did to my hair? Oh, shoot, no, no, buddy, you, you go, you go F him up however you want, you, you just, you don't deserve Oh man, man, that movie is hilarious. Go watch it. It's it's good. It's it's really good. Another thing I like about the movie is that is that since we know since we know that there's a since we know that there is the Chucky learned a new incantation spell, we also get to be tense because there's this mental patient whose name is who has different who has different identities. One of them being Charles, and of course we all get scared because is this Chucky or is this not Chucky? And then we realize that it's not. It was. It's kind of like a brief moment of clarity because we're like, oh, phew. oh, thank the Lord, oh, phew. also, also Tiffany Valentine. Now, for those of you who are gonna get mad enough and bite a Chucky for calling her Tiffany Haddish, yes, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. All right. And Jennifer Tilly makes a return to the movie, and of course, do we got that paradox from the seat of Chucky where it's like, hey, you, hey, you look all like Jennifer Tilly. Yeah, I get that a lot. Yeah, I get that a lot because. Because Jennifer Tilly boy, plays Jennifer Till, plays Tiffany Valentine in the Chucky movies, but in Cena Chucky, uh, Jennifer Tilly, who plays Tiffany Valentine, puts her soul into the actress Jennifer Tilly in the Chucky universe. Even though Jennifer Tilly plays plays Tiffany Valentine in the Chucky universe, and now she's Jennifer Tilly. Hey, it's really confusing. Yeah, and also, and I really like that tease, and I really like that they reward us with the Chucky series, which I'm not gonna add as a point. Like I said, I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna reveal like I'm watching this movie 2017. I think the movie came out in 2017. Either way, when it came out. Also, also, yeah, I, also, yeah, I really, I really like, and also, they gave us mobile Nika, and at the end of the movie where we see Andy getting, getting captured and Nika is get possessed by Chucky, we, I was literally saying, what will the future behold of, of Chucky finally back in the human body? And now to my cons. My only cons in this movie is that, is that Chuck, is that Andy didn't feel like a really major character, even though he was the, he was like the protagonist of the, of the first, of the first three Child's Play movies, which are like the definitive versions of the Chucky movies. But anyways, that's all for me. Anyway, that's all for me.
and I give this movie a 9.8 out of 10 and I highly recommend it if you want to watch something hilarious or you, if you want to watch something scary, hilarious or just messed up. Seriously, this movie is really messed up. You know. How is it messed up, you ask? Oh, I'll tell you. There's this is yeah, there's this lady at the mental at the mental hospital that <clears throat> that used that used to uh that that used to um let's just say uh, asphyxiate her baby and she does that with Chucky. Yeah, that's how dark this movie gets. Anyways, yeah, those those are those are, that's just my review of the Chucky series in Halloween in January. I'll see you next time with um, with a random. I'll see you next time on Deathgasm, which is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. See ya.